Today in our 2013 Hyundai Elantra, we're going to take a look at and show you how to install the Curt T-Connector vehicle wiring harness with the four pole flat trailer connector. Part number is C56126. And as you can see, it's nice out of the way. We don't see any wires hanging out or anything like that. But when we need it, simple as pulling that up. Pulling our wire out. That's going to be able to set right over that threshold right there. That padding right there on that weather strip gives us plenty of room so we can just close our trunk up just like that. Now we're ready to hook up to our trailer and get our lights working. Now the first thing we'll do for our installation, get into the trunk area here. Let's pull out that floor mat or that trunk floor covering. And then we're going to take out this plastic threshold that goes all the way across. We're going to have three Christmas tree fasteners that we want to pull out. We've got one here one here in the middle and then one in the same side on that passenger side. You just want to get in behind these and pop them out. That's what they'll look like. And we're just going to kind of pull straight up on that. Those white fasteners are made to line up with the four holes that go across there. So you just want to pop them up and out of there. Now what we want to do is pull out our three fasteners here. One, two and three then we'll be able to pull that felt back we're going to do this on both sides fasteners will be in the same location and you can see we can just pull that back that gain gives us access right into our wiring do the same thing on our passenger side All right, now let's start getting our connections made. We'll want to push that tab on that wiring plug and then just separate it nice and easy. And this is where that T connector comes in. As you can see, it's going to make a T there. And basically, it's just going to plug right in to our factory connection point. Always give it a good push-pull. Make sure you get a good connection there. Do that for both sides and it essentially takes care of it. Now, on the top of our modulite box we're going to have a white wire with a ring terminal. We want to put that to a ground source. So your ground is going to be basically the body of the car. We don't have any factory bolts or anything sticking out other than the ones for like our tail lights and those just aren't going to be the best. So what we're going to do is just bring this down and around. We've got a good solid piece of metal that's right over there. We're going to screw it right into there using the provided self-tapping screw. So you just want to be able to wiggle that ring terminal without it moving and we'll know we've got a good secure ground there. We've got a pretty nice flat surface right down here. It's kind of under where our driver's side connection is. We're going to use a little bit of rubbing alcohol. Just really clean that up, make sure there's no dirt or debris on it. Then we're also going to do that same thing to the back side of our box here. We'll pull off one side of the foam tape. Place it right on the back of the box. Push it on there really well. Make sure it sticks really good. And then I also like to take one of the provided zip ties and just go around there just to make sure that that doesn't come off of the back of that modulite. Sometimes that foam tape doesn't want to stick. So the tighter we can get that, the better because it'll kind of see how it pushes down in that tape. Trim off our excess there and then pull each side of that off. Right down to that mounting location we decided on. And then make sure it sticks on there really well. Box is mounted. Now let's undo our green and red wire here. This is the one going over to our passenger side. Let's also bring our four pole wire over here towards the middle of the vehicle. And then we're ready to put this side back in place, get our panel put back. Now all we're doing to re-secure our panel is just putting our fasteners back in. All right, now let's run our red and green wire over to our passenger side where we're going to make the same style connection. And we'll just tuck that one away as well. You can see we've got a little bit of excess here. So let's gather that up. Again, we're going to have a couple provided zip ties there. So 
We'll use those to get it nice and secured. I'm going to keep that pretty small and I'm going to zip tie it right off to that stud there. That way we won't have to worry about it moving around on us. Just like that. Now my four pole wire, I'm going to pull out on that felt edge a little bit. I'm going to bring it over here to the side because I don't want that cover or that, that rear kick panel, I don't want that to, to interfere with that. So let's leave that over there and reinstall our panel. Remember, we've got four of the white push fasteners going to the four holes across the back. We'll get those done first. And kind of push it in down here at the bottom a little bit. Then we'll take our three remaining push pin fasteners and put them right into place. All right, perfect. Now what we'll do with our four pull is just pull out enough to where we can kind of touch right down here with our thumb. Then let's loop it around. We're going to put the dust cover over our plug here, just like that. And then I like to bring it around the wiring bundle and then just use it as like a, almost like a, you know, a bread tie or a zip tie or something just to kind of hold everything together. You can wrap it with a zip tie if you want to, but then you'll have to cut it and have extra zip ties when you're done. So I like to just leave it sit right there. Now we can put our floor covering back in. Let's test our plug, make sure that all of our signals are working the way they should, and we'll have this thing wrapped up and ready to enjoy our car. Now we're just going to use a simple test light to perform our test. Pull the cap off. Now our ground clamp, it's going to go right on to that white or that bare terminal that's sticking out. That's going to test our ground. Then we'll have someone turn on the running lights in the vehicle. Our first wire over from the white is going to be the brown wire. With our headlights on, we should get a constant signal. All right, that's what we're looking for there. Now we can do the driver's side blinker. Now that should give us a flashing signal from our yellow wire. All right, now we'll do the same thing for the passenger side. We should have the same signal from the green wire. All right, so far so good. Now we're gonna do the brakes. When we apply the brakes, we should have constant signal from the green and the yellow. That's perfect, everything's working as it should. We can just bundle this up, stick it back in the back of the car and have it ready whenever we need it. Now with everything working properly, that's gonna to complete today's installation of the Kirk T-Connector vehicle wiring harness with the four pole flat trailer connector, part number C56126 on our 2013 Hyundai Elantra.